the tent city for the homeless near the courthouse that spontaneously resurfaced this summer was already a focus of community debate, including a temporary permit for porta potties placed there earlier this month. It's just been a nightmare since. Megan set up in a tent here about a month ago and Tuesday night says she was sexually assaulted in it by strangers. I was raped by five men. Um, they took turns on me. Milwaukee police confirmed they're investigating the attack, seeking multiple suspects. We're not identifying her because she's a sexual assault victim. I don't have anybody to protect me. Um, they think I am, you know, trying to trap for money, and that's not who I am. I'm college educated. Like, this is not my life. Megan doesn't blame any of the other residents here at 10 City currently for what happened to her, but says she believes she is especially vulnerable here as a woman. I think it's very dangerous for a woman because it's full of men and men prey on women and that's what they do. They take advantage of you. The future of the encampment remains up in the air. The one month porta potty permission the hunger task force was granted here expires next week. And this attack on Megan will likely raise more concern about the tent city acting as a last resort for people like her who have bounced from shelter to shelter. And if the beds are full, the beds are full. You don't get in. So you feel like you were kind of uh, caught here in a situation where your only choice was to be, be in a tent. Yeah, that was my only choice. Only choice. And now even that feels like it's not an option. At MacArthur Square, Nick Bohr, WISN 12 News. Milwaukee police say the assault appears to be an isolated incident. They haven't added any additional patrols there. So far, no one has been arrested.